In part four of section six, we're gonna look at two special types of line called the horizontal and vertical line. Now, when you look at these two lines, um, we're being asked to do a couple of things. It says, example 6.6, .6, write an equation to represent the horizontal line and an equation to represent the vertical line. So we're gonna write two equations, one for the horizontal line, a second for the vertical line, if possible, write a function as well. So just because I can write an equation doesn't always mean that that particular equation represents a function. Now graphically, we have a representation for a horizontal and vertical line right here in front of us. So if I look at the horizontal line, and let's say that I start drawing vertical lines, pretend they're vertical, they're pretty close, but every time I draw a vertical line, it's only gonna cross once. So I should be able to easily justify that the <clears throat> horizontal line is a function. And I can say that by the vertical line test. But the vertical line, if I draw a vertical line right on top of the vertical line, then it's gonna fail the vertical line test miserably. So for the vertical line, this is not a function by the vertical line test. So the vertical line test helps us with both of those items. But like I said, just because it's not a function doesn't mean there isn't some kind of equation um, that can be written for it. So I wanna look specifically at the, um, the vertical line for a moment. And I wanna pick out a few points. So I'm gonna pick out say this point here at two comma seven. I'm gonna pick out another point located here at two comma two. And we'll do another point down here located at two comma negative five. And what I want you to notice is that while I've only written down three particular points, there is an infinite number of points here on this vertical line. And every single one of those points is gonna have something in common. They are all gonna have an X value of two. And that's what equation writing is really all about. Equation writing is about finding the pattern and then being able to articulate that pattern. So the pattern here is that all the x values are two. So the equation is quite simply written as just x equals two. That is the equation for the vertical line. And that's all there is to it. And the nice thing is the horizontal line can be uh, analyzed in the same way. If I start picking different values from the horizontal line, so that point would be negative eight, negative two. This point right here would be negative three, negative two. And then I'll pick a point over here at six comma negative two. And what we'll notice there is that the pattern is every single one of these points has a Y value of negative two. So therefore the equation is y equals negative two. So you don't have to use any fancy equation uh, writing technique for this. You just recognize the pattern and then you state the equations. Now that takes care of the first part of the example. The second part says, if possible, write as a function as well. So we know that the only one of these two that's actually a function is the horizontal line, which ends up representing a, a constant function. So a constant function is just a special type of linear function, now that we see how the um, definitions will come together there. And I can define this, we'll say f from r to r given by f of x equals negative two. And you can certainly see there that it is a constant function, which is the horizontal line at negative two. And that's the only one that can be written as a function. So that completes example 6.6. .6.